Hey y'all, welcome back. It is still cold outside. Riding season has not yet started. Hoping within the next few weeks we can get out there on a trail, but got one uh, one last upgrade to do before we get out there. Um, over the winter so far, we've, we really haven't done much. I'll put an external gas can on and I just got the uh, oversized foot pegs. They were actually, you know, not name brand or anything off of eBay. So uh, they seem like they'll do a pretty good job. I started sliding off when I was at BFR, so figured it was time to do that. So what we have for you today, I finally pulled the trigger on this big box here. And within it, is something to match this guy right here. Not matching the name, but matching pretty much the looks, the size of the tubing and whatnot. So I've been told at least, and so from some pictures I've seen, it looks like it goes pretty darn well with the moose. So with the moose front bumper. So what we have here is, the rival rear bumper. Looks like it comes with instructions. I think it's only like four bolts. Um, it's a little bit of hardware, whatnot. So one thing I did realize after I purchased it was that I believe it comes right down along here. So it's gonna block my rear brake light. So I may need to relocate that. If that's the case, we will uh, we'll, we'll we'll figure something out. Whether it's put in the middle or putting it down around these cross members, we'll figure that out. Forgot to mention, I also did put the HGT machining diff brace on. So that's a pretty cool product. I have a whole nother video on that if you're interested. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this unwrapped, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get it fitted up see what we have to do with this light, possibly move the light before we even mount the bumper. So we'll be right back. All right, so as suspected, the light is gonna need relocated. I'm thinking I'm going to move it down to here, push it off this way, because that is going to be completely blocked by the bumper. Um, so, we'll figure that out, and then we will go from there. I'm going to take the reverse light off, and then mount the bumper, and then that way I can kind of see where it can go so it's not blocked by the bumper, because I still want to be able to use that light. That light is, I mean, I don't really ride much at night, but it's useful for people behind me to know when I'm backing up, I guess. Um, and I, 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 I just like having it if I need it. So um, we're gonna get this light taken off. We're gonna get the bumper mounted up, and then we're going to get the light relocated. Hopefully I have enough wiring in here. I think I left enough wiring when I initially mounted it if I needed to move it in the future. So fingers crossed that is the case. So unfortunately to get to these bolts, I have to go through my box because that's how the box mounts. Um, so <laughs> that being said, I have to take everything out of my box, which you know what? It's a new season. I should go through this thing and make sure I have everything I need, get it cleaned out anyway. So good timing, I guess. We'll get lunch two days ago the last bit for you 
I remembered that the back of my actual rear rack got scratched when I stood it up in my rock run video. Um, so I decided to just take the rack off and repaint it. So it's taken me a couple days just with other things going on and whatnot to actually get that off and repaint it. But I'm going to go ahead and throw that back on real quick. I'm not going to video that. Um, get the box back on here and then we'll pick up where we left off. If you guys ever need to repaint your racks and make them look almost identical to stock with a nice rough finish, this stuff right here. All right, so I got the upper two bolts in. It's a lot tougher with this box, I'll tell you guys, because you gotta go through the box, through a spacer, through the rack, through the bumper, and then into your bumper supports. So it's a little bit more than uh, you would if you were just putting a bumper on. So it's a little bit of a pain with that box. They're still loose, so I have room to play down here. Um, having some trouble, it looks like my hitch is bent a little bit. Not sure how that happened, but having a trouble lining one of the holes back up, so I might try to get a jack under there to kind of jack the one side of the hitch up. Maybe it's a, be a little less bent, so I can at least get the get the bolt in there and straighten it out for the time being. Um, one thing I did notice is the reflectors on the side of the back rack need to be taken off. Um, they didn't quite clear this. They probably would be right about flush, but it was it's too hard for me to line everything up with them on. So I took them off. Don't need them anyway. Um, they're pretty much covered by the back bumper anyway. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to somehow push the side of this hitch up so I can uh, get this hole lined up. This Harbor Freight jack is awesome. So I'm gonna try to get the jack right in here. Try to jack this side of the hitch up because it wasn't bent until I took this bolt out. There must have been some pressure on there in a bad way at some point. So that may even be enough to line up this little hole over here because there's a little ways you got to go to get through the bumper and the uh, hitch into the frame there. So, yeah. that side, put that joint back down, then we later, get this one tightened up. Tighten up the two in here. That'll be this bolt here and this bolt over here. Lucy, very tidy empty Lucy. All right, there's one. All right, so the bumper at this point is on, looks pretty good. Next is to relocate that reverse light. I'm just gonna put it sideways there. Might have to rerun re the wire a little bit. Like, and we call it a day. So, there's the finished product. Back bumper, relocated reverse light. I think that'll work there. Not quite as sleek as it was, but good location nonetheless. And uh, that's our new, uh, that's our new machine. As you can see, it matches the front pretty darn well. It's almost identical tubing and whatnot so it'll do i'm happy with it we uh we're gonna send the old man a picture because i'm sure he's anxious to see it and uh head to bed so um rock around in a couple weeks other than that, we got a few trips planned this year so we will uh meet you back here guys later on